Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these minifigure packs from Collect Day, and this is actually the brand new 2019 pack of prehistoric mammals that they just released. So, let's break it open and we'll see what species are involved. Okay, you guys have to forgive me if I do mess up a few of the names of these because I am not the most knowledgeable man when it comes to prehistoric mammals. I really, really do love learning about them, but I personally don't know too much about them, so I may mess up a name or two here and there, and again, I apologize in advance, but we've got the Arsinotherium, the Moropus, the Estemnosuchus, and I'm actually realizing now that these aren't all prehistoric mammals, because we include this guy, which I believe is Kellenkin, or something along those lines. He's got, for some reason, horribly bowed legs and does not want to stand. So he's going to have to go in the back. Oh, now he stands. I don't understand life. The Deodon. The Smilodon. A Woolly Mammoth. The Androsarcus, which will put you there. A Deanotherium, back here. A Megacerops. Untotherium. I believe is how you say that name, and the Paraceratherium right there. So that is all of the species included in this set. Again, as always with these Collect A mini tubes, you have quite the array of species, and at first glance, they all honestly look incredible. I think these mini tubes are a great way for you to get a wide array of species in your collection really fast, even if they are in mini form, they are honestly just as beautiful pretty much as the larger form figures they really all look fantastic and i'm quite excited to get a closer look so let's go ahead and we'll do that now so we will start with the androsarcus and you can see that overall this has a very beautiful appearance to it the sculpt is fantastic just like the larger version would be and overall the paint application is beautiful you can see it starts out with a darker brown up here in the middle of the back and then very beautifully and naturally transitions to this lighter brown as you go down the animal. And you can see that it's got a great wash underneath of kind of that same darker brown that you see on the upper side. So it really beautifully blends together. And I think the paint application on this is very realistic. The teeth are painted as is the inside of the mouth and it's a very nice pinkish color. Very realistic looking. The teeth don't appear to be overly sloppy but there is a small amount of sloppiness to them. But again, that's to be expected on something this small. The eyes are painted with a nice black coloration and they do appear to be really well placed. I think again the paint application on this one specifically is fantastic. It's got some dots and stripes and uh, really looks beautiful. All the paint really looks very natural as well, so that is a huge plus as far as how nice this figure looks overall. The sculpt again is beautiful. The hair and everything appears to be sculpted really, really well, and even the musculature and the movement and everything is really beautifully portrayed in the sculpt of this figure, so this is definitely a very nice one and probably one of the best in this bunch uh, already I'm gonna say that this one might be leading the pack as far as these go but I guess we'll have to look at them all to really tell so and again I'm not too sure if that's how you say it but untotherium I would think maybe but let's get a closer look here again the paint application is fantastic on this you can see many different tones of color there's the genitals there very very present which again adds that extra bit of realism but you can see so many different tones of color and everything included in the paint on this it really is incredible just how nice this looks and it's got a very beautiful design with a dark brown pretty much a burnt umber or a blackish type coloration up here in the top you can actually see the eyes really beautifully glossing right there and uh, shining because they look very realistic they're beautifully painted on there very nicely placed as well the eyes are actually really realistic looking with the shine that is impressive the teeth are painted on the inside of the mouth, or at least those uh, bigger ones there are. They look very nice. There's a little hint of sloppiness over here that's run under the lips, but overall it looks really, really good and uh, beautifully sculpted. The sculpt overall is fantastic without question. It is really highly detailed, and again, the movement of the animal is really beautifully portrayed in the sculpt. You can see all the muscles tensing and everything all throughout the animal where it should be. This thing is fantastic looking, really beautiful, very natural looking paint application. 
and the sculpt is great. So I don't know which one already is better, this one or the Andrew Sarkis. Both are fantastic and we just got started. Then we have the Mega Serops and overall the sculpt in this one is great as well. This is a figure that the actual much larger one is easily one of my favorite prehistoric mammal figures of all time due to just how insanely beautiful it is. So for it to be down here in shrunken down mini form, I would know exactly that this figure's appearance would be beautiful. The paint on this appears to be a good bit darker, kind of, than what we saw in the older, larger version. It kind of has a very, very dark brown and then a light gold almost that's been kind of dry brushed over it. So the paint application on this is a little bit different compared to what we had seen previously on this on the larger version, but it still looks really nice. The eyes are painted beautifully. And you can see again that they have a nice gloss, making them look very real. Can't really see inside the mouth to see if anything's painted in there. This eye looks very good also. And you can see that they've kind of dry brushed some of that paint up here on the head, on the ears and everything to help elaborate a lot of the beautiful detail and sculpt that is in this figure. Even the horns up here look very good. I will say, however, that the paint application of this overall isn't quite as nice as the other two which is a little bit of a letdown, but not really at the same time because it is still beautiful overall. You can again pick up on the genitals down there and everything. The Collecte always adds in for that super extra bit of realism. So this one's pretty darn nice, but not as nice as the other two. Then we've got the Arsenotherium. And uh, again, this one looks really nice. You can see it's painted with a dark gray, but they've dry brushed this light gray over, really elaborating the very nice fur sculpt that has all over it and then it transitions to this brown up here on the shoulder blades in the shoulder area in the upper part of the spine that runs down under the neck but then it transitions back to that gray you can see that the teeth are kind of painted in there but it seems that the pinkish coloration is the inside of the mouth is kind of has run all over the teeth it does still look really nice though I think they've done a great job overall on making this one look very nice as far as color tones and uh, the overall appearance of it very nice on the underside. The mouth kind of almost has a bloody appearance because there's just so much pink on the inside, but the eyes are painted really nice. And again, they have that great gloss that Collecte has really gotten good at achieving a very real lifelike look with. And the sculpt, as always, is awesome. I can never seem to say anything bad as far as Collecte goes with how beautiful they do with the minute, small detailing of their sculpts. Everything looks really, really good on this guy. Not quite as good as the other two, but still very, very close. I think this one would be past the Mega Serops in beauty, but maybe a little underneath the other two. Then you've got the very small Smilodon. And again, this one doesn't have that great a paint. I think the paint is really nice, but it's not as good as the others as far as color tones and everything go. You can see it's got a lighter coloration on the underbelly, but primarily the body appears to just be this one solid color for the most part with kind of the spotted type of a look going on. It does still look very appealing though, I think. And the sculpt again is fantastic. It really looks beautiful, great hanging fur and everything. Very nice defined musculature everywhere. The teeth appear to be painted very nicely, as is the inside of the mouth with a pinkish color. And then you've got the nose painted there and everything. The eyes also look really nice. Once again, beautifully utilizing that gloss paint on the eyes for a very realistic look. So the Smilodon also looks really, really nice. Then we've got what I believe is the Kellenkin. I'm not positive if that's how you say the name of it or not. This one I'm not too big of a fan of, honestly. The legs are almost in a split position. I think the sculpt in detail is okay. It's got some fairly decent feather sculpts going on, and they've kind of dry brushed a little bit of a light brown almost over it to bring out some of the detailing. And uh, overall it looks okay, but it's just not that great. The eyes are almost hard to pick up on because they are a black and the rest of the body is like a dark blue or dark gray almost. So they're kind of hard to see, but they do look good. They appear to be painted and positioned very nicely. Then you've got that yellow paint there on the beak, which really helps the beak and kind of the arm area there stick out and jump out at you. I think maybe some paint on the feet would have been nice to really give it a little bit of extra realism but unfortunately they did not include that. I think it's still pretty nice, just not near as nice as the others. Then we have the Deodon, and this one is really, really beautiful, honestly. You can see many different color tones as far as browns and blacks kind of mixed in, giving it a very lifelike and realistic look. 
The eyes appear to be painted pretty nicely. They look big. they're pretty spot on. The mouth has a little bit of sloppiness on the teeth, but not too much. And again, you got that pink coloration included in there. Once again, the sculpt on this looks great. You can see all the defined musculature everywhere and the muscles tensing even in the neck here with it turning its head. The fur appears to be sculpted really nicely, very fine looking fur, except for up here you've got a little bit of bunchy fur, kind of scruffy looking fur up there on the top. Paint application appears to be very nice overall, very natural, and uh, definitely a very nice looking figure, especially in such a small mini form. Then you've got the Moropus, which also looks good. Once again, it's pretty much just this one solid color. It appears as though maybe there's some light tones of coloration, some very small light transitions of color, but it's almost hard to pick up on if there is or not, except for down here on the feet. It kind of gets to a darker coloration near the nails and everything. The fur up here on the top is also a slightly different color. It's a little bit darker of a color of brown. It does look very nice. Again, the sculpt is fantastic. You can really get a sense of the bone structure of the animal and everything from the position that it's in. Beautiful musculature. And you can really see the nicely fine fur all over the animal. The eyes are painted really nicely again. The ears up there have a little bit of paint on them. The inside of the mouth also has that pinkish coloration. So the overall color of this is really nice. The underside has that lighter white as well. And it's very appealing. It's just not too much as far as paint goes compared to some of the others. But I don't think this one really needs it. I think it really looks beautiful the way it is. Then we've got the Deanotherium. Very nice looking at first glance here. This one looks beautiful as far as the paint application. It's got a dark black pretty much or a dark gray. But then this very nice brownish coloration has been dry brushed over it really bringing out all the detail and sculpt, making it all jump out at you in a very beautiful fashion. Nice wrinkling of the skin back here in the rear leg. Actually, both rear legs, I should say. The tusks on the bottom of the mouth there look very nice. The trunk and everything is beautifully sculpted. The eyes appear to be painted very nicely. Again, with that very realistic gloss, as you can see it shining there. The hair and everything all looks great. So this is a very big contender for the top spot as far as how beautiful these figures go. This one is awesome. Then we have the Paraceratherium. Very nicely done. Again, the sculpt is great. I actually don't have the larger version of this figure. I believe it's a deluxe figure and I really want to get it. This one I don't have or the Moropus, so I have to get on getting those very soon. But the sculpt on this one looks great and the paint application is very nice as well. You can see that it does have some nice color tones, some darker browns and stuff that are uh, kind of put in throughout the body. Looks very nice. The sculpt looks great. Look at the way the neck is beautifully sculpted out for the turn that it has in the head. Really nice. Nice, very gradual transition to a darker brown up here in the middle of the spine. The eyes are painted very nicely. Again, given a great gloss. Beautifully placed. They look very real. This one is definitely very nice as well. It's not quite as nice as some of the others, but it is still absolutely beautiful. The sculpt is fantastic. The paint application is just as fantastic. So they've done a great job on this one as well. Then we've got the SDM Nasukas, which was a deluxe release last year, but now we have the mini version of it. And the paint appears to be pretty much the same paint scheme that we had last year with that greenish color and then the brown kind of spotted throughout the body. I think it looks really nice though. The inside of the mouth has a nice pinkish color. The teeth don't appear to be too sloppily painted, but a little bit. Nice yellow coloration on the underside. Overall, it looks really nice. The sculpt, I believe, is the same sculpt that we got on the larger version last year, just kind of shrunken down into mini form. And that sculpt was beautiful, so this sculpt is also obviously going to be beautiful. Really looks nice. Not quite as nice as the others, again but really beautifully done regardless. And then the final of the bunch is the Woolly Mammoth, and the Woolly Mammoth looks awesome. Look at how beautiful the sculpt of this is. Very majestic, very beautifully done. The eyes are painted very nicely, very realistically. They have a beautiful gloss once again. The tusks look great, even something so small as far as these figures go. You can see beautiful detail and sculpt carved out in the actual tusks themselves. And the trunk looks great. Very nice curve to it down here at the bottom. The paint application has some nice color tones throughout. It's primarily like a dark brown, but there's a beautiful dry brushing of a light brown that's been put over it, making you really take note of all the shaggy fur and just how beautifully done this thing is overall. Nice woolly mammoth tail there. You can again get a good idea of the bone structure and musculature as well. 
So this one is awesome. And I don't know which one's the best, but this is again one that's going to be right there at the top with the others. So an incredible set of beautiful minifigures. It's great to see obscure species like this getting figures. And uh, overall, I think these are all great choices for this pack. They are all primarily done really beautifully and shrunken down to mini form. So Collecte has done a great job overall on how nice these look. As far as a size goes, I'm not going to measure each one individually because that would just be madness and take forever. But you can see there, if I hold this above them, about the size of them all. They are very, very small, and if you don't believe me, well then we'll bring in our buddy the Green Papo T-Rex to show you just how insanely small these minifigures are. So you can see the Papo Rex completely towering over them and showing you just how extremely small these minifigures are. And it is insane to me just how much sculpt and detail and beautiful paint application is packed into these minis when you can see right there just how extremely tiny they are. So without question, this is a beautiful set once again as far as these minifigures go. This is the second tube of minis from Collect Day I've reviewed here on the channel, and I really must say that they are very, very impressive minifigures. I think these guys are right up there with the PNSO minis with just how insanely nice they are. There are so many unique and underrated species in this set that it is an awesome buy in general just to get figures of so many obscure species that you don't see get figures very often. And with Collect A, you know you're getting a very high quality sculpt overall that is just jam packed with detail. And that shines through here on each and every one of these figures, in my opinion. And honestly, it is so hard for me to even pick a favorite out of all of these. I think that it's just probably too tough to do. They're so beautiful, all of them. I think if I had to, if I was held at gunpoint and had to pick one, I would probably say the Andrew Sarkis is probably the nicest of the bunch as far as the overall paint application, sculpt, and everything all crammed into one figure. I think that guy's probably the total package, but they're all so close and just very, very closely trailing behind him that it's such a tough call. There's so many beautifully painted and highly detailed figures in here that no matter what, if you buy this set, you are for sure going to get your money's worth. Again, just in the sheer fact that there's so many obscure species, it's without question a surefire win. So if you do want to buy this incredible mini figure set from Collect Aid, you can go ahead and check the description. Follow that link straight over to everythingdinosaur.com where you can pick this set up for yourself. As I said, it is awesome. Many beautifully done figures all in one set for a good price. So follow that link straight over to everythingdinosaur.com. Pick this set up for yourself today. But before you do that, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.